This is the biggest swarm I have ever seen. Well, I completely missed. I should have anticipated that. Woo, the bees. Looking for some place to run. I wish I wouldn't have missed the tote. Okay, I made a little crack over there. Maybe they'll run in there, I hope so. Look at all those darn bees, y'all. I've never seen anything like this. They've got some of them running in right there. Man, look at them. They're running there hard. In that march, that march is always cool. Go on in, ladies, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. And dump them in. Oh, man. Get this on here. There are a few hanging out on the outside of the uh, container here and really not much of anything going on back there in the limb. And so, unless she just decides to come boiling back out of there, I think we got them. Golly. Kind of bump the outside like this. I'm gonna take them and dump them. What do y'all think of that swarm? That was impressive. If the queen's in there, I think they'll stay. If not, they may end up back up in the tree. Everybody, it's been four days since I caught that massive swarm in the tree, and it looks like we have them going in and out here. Looks like they've actually been cleaning out some old combs, some old pollen here. See in front of the hive there, it's pretty wild. I thought I'd pick in here real quick and just see how they look. Yeah, I don't have any idea. Oh, goodness. Look at that. <laughs> they built that comb right there in four days. This is where I put the, uh, the queen cage down there with that queen in there. And they just went ahead and started building out. So swarms really like to build and quickly grow. And that's just amazing. I'm actually going to go ahead and kind of cut this off because... We don't really want them to build a random comb in the middle of the hive here. So wild. So cool. Just lay it right there and let the bees run in. Okay, I'm gonna pull a frame or two out here. They're working on repairing some of this comb and everything. Okay, now the queen is in the queen clip right there. Go ahead and release the queen. And if we start going through this thing and we see eggs, we know there's more than one queen. If, if we don't, then we know that this is the one right here. I'm just gonna kinda shake her down in there. I don't know, she might have even escaped. I didn't see her in there necessarily, but anyway, she's in the hive now, regardless. They're putting nectar in here. We got a drone right here. I stack this thing two deeps and a medium. They're just working. Yeah, they're just bringing in nectar now, pretty much. They're just working on repairing it and getting it ready. So, uh, yep, no eggs or anything yet. I don't want to spend a lot of time in here, just kind of wanted to show you what's going on and let you know that we looks like we do have the swarm and that they seem to be doing good. Lots of bees. Yeah, I don't see any eggs because I think the queen was in that cage and so my guess is that in that swarm, there were probably more than one queen. Uh, the one I caught looked like she was probably a mated queen, possibly. I'm not 100% sure about that. I didn't look at her that close. But in a big swarm like that, many times you'll have multiple queens. She may, there may be some virgin queens in there as well. I don't know. So these bees seem perfectly calm and happy. So either way, I think we're in good shape um, with this colony. And we're just going to leave them alone a little while. And... Uh, May end up getting some honey out of them this year. I'm excited about it. That was a fun catch. I'm glad I happened to pull in here when that thing was hanging in the tree. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a quick little update. Y'all take care. Be safe.
and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.